るなななななななななななななななななななバイクのビデオ。フォーゴー !How do you deal with it?You don't even pay attention to it, bro. I see the way, the way I approach it. You immediately, here's the most, like, here's the most autistic. Like mathematical way in order to deal with FOMO. Stop looking at other people and look at purely yourself. Like become self obsessed. Almost narcissistic. It's kind of weird. But if you're so self obsessed and you're obsessed with your own improvement, with your, with your own fiscal improvement, with your own physical improvement, then it's very difficult to feel FOMO. By the way, I was just thinking the、uh, Eureka. Oh, God. Eureka 7 are opening. Damn, I'm gonna put these videos together. What a pain. This is supposed to be the un uncut channel. What the hell? I took a massive dump, by the way. That shit was like. Bro, that, that was my entire like, gut system, bro. I, ne I never thought I could, a human could shit so much, especially at my size. God. <laughs> What the fuck? Sorry for like. <laughs> I'm fucking disgusting, bro. That shit. It was like a boulder. I'm just. <laughs> Genuinely like a boulder.、Um, that's like a funny part about it. It was, it was monstrous. It was absolutely monstrous. Anyways, <laughs> FOMO. <laughs> Guys, I think one of the other best ways to deal with FOMO is to express it. Express it within a form. So, three things. Three things. Focus on yourself. Become self obsessed. So, being self obsessed. To be self obsessed and worry about your own self improvement and your own looks and all this shit than to be worrying about other people's shit when they could be a completely different timeline than you. You know? I did this before, it's stupid of me, but I compare myself to fucking. Because I'm an ambitious motherfucker, man. I compare myself to、uh, Prince,、um, that little fucking little Prince kid who's like the new baby of、uh, the royal family. And the news forecast, when I watched it, he was like, This baby, he's infinitely younger than you, he's gonna have an infinitely better life than you. He's gonna be infinitely richer than you, and he's, gonna and he's gonna just be better than you in every single aspect, and that's the way life goes, or something like that. That's what the poor said. I was like, yeah, that's the way that life goes. The fuck? I, I would want to be in a better position. What the fuck? I'm jealous. And, and then, obviously, that's stupid, because he's 10 years old, he's born into the royal family. And he's like a, not even a, a 0.0001. He's much lower than that. Like a 0.0001 percentage of babies around the world. But still, right? Still living human beings, that's my approach. it. And I think the other best way is the first one is to be self obsessed, worry about yourself. Two is to express yourself within an online form or a journal type form. You can, you can count the pixels on this shit. Guys, right? My camera. <laughs> If I had better lighting, it would be better. No shit. I mean, I mean, like, you wouldn't be able to see all the fucking pixels on my screen because if I put my phone, like the lighting here, Nah, you can still see the pixels. <laughs> Horrible. Oh, I need some actual proper lighting up this. <sighs> oh. What was it again? If you constantly compare yourself to other people, right, it's not gonna get you anywhere. But it, and if you express this, like, this is like a form of therapy to me. I express this out. I'm not only saying like, my troubles, damn, what the fuck is my hand? Ooh, what is with the skin? My knuckle begins here, but the skin's here. I'm like a. What do they call it again? Peace be among you. I'm like a reptilian. Should be. Weird ass hand. Anyways, if you constantly compare yourself to other people, you will get absolutely nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. And if you. And positively, on the flip side, if you express yourself constantly, then you actually get somewhere. Why? Because then you have your emotions laid out and. Most of the time, when you have your emotions laid out like this, I'm like, before I had started recording this video, I felt really, really bad about myself. I felt really, really down and under. And it was probably the shittiest feeling you could possibly think about. And with me, what I did was, I reveled in the thought, I journaled a bit of it, and I thought to myself, this is the stupidest shit to feel FOMO for. I, I said, I woke up, I wrote down it in my journal,、uh, journal 
a gratitude journal. Today I'm grateful to, to wake up with intense fo with intense FOMO. I thought about the school I had previously applied for in central London. That school was really STEM and tech related. Perhaps maybe a good geeky uni, maybe a good geeky job, and then I get then I get more FOMO of, of people I could have met. Like I could have got connections, I could have got this, could have got that, could have got that. This thought process is idiotic. Like, is it not idiotic? Ask yourself that. Is it not idiotic? I could have got this. I would have done this. I should have done this. It harkens back to the shoes on Max Walker um, thing. Famous video. Don't think about the past. Or you're going to be like, oh, why did I do that? Don't think about the future because you're just going to be worried about, worried about it. Like, oh, is everything going to be okay? I've been there. I am still there. I'm reveling in it. But I'm doing the second tenet, which I'm preaching, which is recording videos and expressing how stupid it is in order to nullify it completely and try to focus back on what I need to do. I need to go to the bank. I'm busy as fuck. Listen, guys. If you're so busy, right, preoccupied with your own shit, making money, doing this, doing that, then it's very difficult in order to feel FOMO. FOMO only comes from social media and your own mind. That's it. Social media plants the seeds for your own mind to attack itself with FOMO. That's the way it goes. And that's the biggest problem with social media, which I hate. I deleted TikTok. I deleted Instagram. I deleted Twitter. Recently, I was just on Twitter again. And I, like, it was full of memes. And full of kids that have much better lives than me. And are fucking a bit older than me and shit. Obviously, of course. But they have much better lives than me. And have this. Da -da 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 -da. Fuck off. Fuck off. Genuinely. Fuck off. I hate that shit. I genuinely hate that. With all my heart, of all my heart, I hate that. This is why I delete TikTok, uh, TikTok and Twitter and Instagram. And I d cut back heavily on the usage on YouTube. I'm using YouTube these days to just upload and record videos. Because social media will allow you to get a glimpse. Or right? get a glimpse. Get a peek at these other people's lives. And that will make you envious. And I think envy is a good is a good emotion. Those negative emotions are good emotions because they can hopefully and possibly make you act and change your life. They can translate into an FTE, <clears throat> which Edmund DeMarco talks about in his book, The Millionaire Fasting Unscripted, FTE. And that is fuck this event, which means which is where like your emotions boil to the point where you can no longer tolerate being mediocre. It's very difficult for you to tolerate being mediocre, and it's very difficult to stay in the same position in life. Until then, your negative emotions just fade into nothing. Oh, I feel it goes like this. I feel envious. Oh, look at my look at my, my phone. Uh, look at my oh, look at my tablet. I got my Kindle here, which is broken. My mom smashed it, and it broke. I can't really turn it on. But I'll probably go a bit now and get it fixed because I really like a Kindle because I can put reading really, really books in it. I like reading books in this moment, but it's a bit big and cumbersome. I can read books in this is, is better. But um, yeah. Yeah, I'm exaggerating. I can read books on this. I'm fine. I'm chilling. Literally on the book. <laughs> oh, back to the example I was going to make. Two seventy one. No, two seventy. No, I got two sixty nine. Page two hundred sixty nine. Put it on my phone. My Nintendo still, yeah, still works all this time. Can you believe it? This is for Game Boy games. I'm pretty sure. I was looking at why it's not one existed. This is for the thing games. I was playing a bit of the, of the games I had, and it's pretty fucking fun, to be honest. Anyways, back to the video. Listen, guys. Ultra serious. This is how it goes. Like. Social media, uh, I thought it was Apple Stick, so stupid, I'm a Kindle as well. Oh yeah, I, I see this guy, he has better much their life than me, I'm super jealous, I'm super thing, scrolling, 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 mindlessly scrolling like a consumer. Computer, video games, da, 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 da. push mid, push mid. That, that's the, I know, I, I, had, I explained that example badly, but the way the majority of people approach this is that they get super jealous, and they get preoccupied with the social media devices, and for a single second they feel the jealousy, anger, the hatred, 
the frustration of their life and what the choices they made so far and what did they do after back on the video game back on the social uh, back on the uh, thing call of duty back on the grind that doesn't even fucking matter anyway this is the problem when you're on that shit you're not really changing anything when you're playing video games you're just sitting in the same position you were in before which is the biggest problem with which is my biggest problem with my biggest vice with the video games if you play video games you make clips for sure like i need to make a separate video of this but it, my, my point is simple, TLDR, if you make clips and you play video, you play video games, you make a bunch of clips, make a bunch of YouTube videos, you try to join an org, and you actually play the video for a game 12 hours straight, and then you just grind, 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 you get to the top of the video game, or you get like a top 100, or top top 200 of the video game, you spend all your life on that video game, then maybe it's worth it, maybe, you might end up like Timmy, you might end up like Asu, like Imperial Hell, you might, it's not even guaranteed, But most things are good in life aren't guaranteed, so that's that's a other point that you can uh, give me. But still, like, stupid. Okay, guys. Third thing to do with FOMO. I gotta really structure this video better. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. So that's thing, thing to do with FOMO. The third most important thing in how to deal with FOMO. Google real quick. Dude, what does Google say about this? I got a point in my head right now, but it feels like a repeating of the other points. How to deal with FOMO? So high in social media, two software to avoid comments coming from the least social media events. Relist, re. -list, re Lish feeling out of the loop. Great things are indeed happening out there, and sometimes you're not invited. FOMO often originates in unhappiness. Our findings show that these low levels of satisfaction of the fundamental need for competent autonomy and relatedness tend to towards high levels of fear, and we're missing out on those two with low levels of, of general and overall life satisfaction. Listen, guys, that is not what I wanted to say. What I want to say is identify the issue. All right. I take a break from social media and become self obsessed. All right. Verbalize and express your emotions. And all for the last and most final point, identify the issue. If your issue is that you lack autonomy in your life, the issue is that you lack freedom, you lack fitness, you lack family, you lack all parts of your life where. You would, you would, if you had them, you would be satisfied. If you lack, if you have all those things that are not in order, right? Then that's the issue. And you need to try to solve that issue. You can't solve a problem without identifying it first. And obviously everyone knows that shit. No people, everyone understands that. It's purring. Because if you don't know what issue you have, you cannot possibly attempt to solve that issue it's very weird a lot of people don't think about this like what is your biggest problem at the moment freedom lack of freedom lack of autonomy the, then what, what is the answer to that money i'll give you the answer straight up money because if you had money you could completely negate everything you don't, you don't have to get a job you don't have to fucking apply uh, go to the rules you don't have to go to school or go Go to like an apprenticeship, whatever the fuck you're doing. You don't have to do this, you don't have to do that. Because you, if you just have a bunch of fucking money, you don't have to do any of that. And you can just live life in complete and utter freedom. Go on holiday all the time. Do your passion projects. Do the YouTube channel that you've always been wanting to do. But don't approach it like a fucking a business. But approach it like a hobby. And it's satisfying to see your, your YouTube go up. And you make a bit of money on that on the side as well. There's ROI on your effort. Like money. If you, if you, if you, the majority of the time... I'm, I'm not. I'm being fucking. Sh but the majority of the time, people think they, 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 they lack freedom, they lack autonomy, lack of all this, lack this, lack this, that. The answer is money, money, or can it? Because money it gives you freedom, and that's the most important thing that money gets you. Money does not buy happiness. It doesn't. I'm trying to transition it over to money and solving issues. Your issues could be a family issue, then you need to sit down and fucking talk to your family and develop a level of communication. Like all these issues, that you know what you need to do. You might not know how to do it well, but it doesn't matter if you don't know how to do it well. 
You're never gonna you're gonna know how to do it well in the first place. Just fucking do it. Attempt. When you play a video game, you're not the, you're not the best at the video game first try. Come on, if you are, then it's fucking sick. Woohoo! But usually you aren't. Stop going with the assumption that you're gonna be best at what you do, because you're not going to be. Okay, guys. Back to the money issue. With money, everyone, since everyone believes in money, it has so much fucking power. It is a depreciating asset, but it's still an asset because it's, it gives you complete liquid, liquidity, liquidity and power, like genuine power of your life. It gives you control of your life. If you had one million right now, you have complete control. Of I had a fucking previous point I can't hark it back to because I don't even know what the point was. But that's it. Okay, guys. Money is not by happiness, that's what I wanted to say. Because if you just buy like new stuff, you will not be happy. Think about that time when you bought something new that you really, really wanted. I bought, I don't know it's insignificant, I bought a lighter for £2.50. And I really like lighting candles. And I, and I hate burning, burning myself. I was like, you know what? I'm going to fucking get a, light, a candle lighter and it's going to be sick. Fuck my tech, bro. Oh, whatever, whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna get a candle lighter, it's gonna be sick, it's gonna be amazing. It's been like a fucking week or something since I got the candle lighter. I am completely fucking used to it. I do not even care anymore. Same goes with the Lamborghini. You might, it might be the, the the period in which you are satisfied with your life might be higher than mine. Because it's a high it's a high purchase and people see you affluent da, 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 people like it. But then you get used to it as well. You get used to it. So it goes. This is why rich kids often feel as if their life has no purpose and they end up sinking into like stupid shit like drugs and crime and like low life and they end up losing their money within like two to three generations. I don't know that shit. Uh, the common wealth. Wealth is commonly lost in two to three generations. Yeah, no shit. When money is nothing but a number on the screen. Okay, bye guys, bye guys. I think I completed what I needed to say for this video. Check the video, other video for a second. You guys get to see me in my life. I like you guys get fucked anyway. Uh, I give a fuck. Thank you. G. Top G, top strike. How many fucking videos do I record, man? Talk about self obsessed twat. Seven minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go. 7 minutes plus 17, which is 24 minutes. Suey.